Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Aurelia and welcome to season two, episode three of our exclusive YouTube Let's Play Walking Dead series. I haven't played this game since last year, but um, it is now 2023. Happy New Year to everyone who it applies to, who is watching this right now as it's airing. And if you're watching this from the future, hope you're having a great day wherever you are. I've got my coffee, as per usual, recording this after work. Gonna be ready for some emotional damage on a nice Tuesday afternoon. And we've got a little jinx with us here. One of my cats has graced us with her presence. And I don't know where Loki is, the other menace. But without further ado, we're going to get started with the episode. I also turned on subtitles as compared to the last couple of episodes. I got some comments saying they wanted them turned on, and so I did. So let's do it. Previously on The Walking Dead. Boom, subtitles. Who do you think did this? Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? What's the most important thing in this world? Clem, it's family. People like Matthew aren't coming back. Ah, oh, this entire sequence of events where we found the friend and he ended up being the now deceased partner. They were so nice. Rebecca, our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. Ah, and we still don't know. Oh my God, he died. We still don't know the deal with Carver. We We're know that there's a lot of history and things. As a family. I don't understand it. Carver used to be a nice guy and then he turned into an asshole. Like, was the baby made because of love and like secret affairs or was it because Carver forced himself onto her. I, I don't know. I don't know. We don't know what we don't know, chat. You oh. about done over there? Yeah, one second. Jeez. Thanks for coming with me. It's scary out here. I know they made you. It's still nice that you came. We're friends. We're friends. Friends look out for one another. We are, aren't we? Well, if you need to pee, let me know. I'll keep look out for you, too. <laughs> they made me uh, go with you. Okay. Because you're incompetent. I feel like that's kind of mean to say to someone who thinks they're your friend, so... <sighs> I missed you guys. I hope everyone's hey, having a great out, week right, wherever girls. you are. Troy, get them tied up. Will do. Well, we're on our way. Probably 30 minutes out. Make sure everyone's prepped. Emotions might be running high. Carver out. If I find out you've been wasting fuel to keep that fucking heater going, I'll make you walk back. Nope. Froze my ass off. Just like you told me to. <laughs> it ain't polite to listen to other folks' conversations. Has anyone ever taught you that? Where's your manners? I used to have a walkie-talkie like that. Oh, really? What happened to it? Because you can't have this one. <sighs> it caused trouble. People got hurt because of that stupid thing. People died. Well, if you try and take this one, honey, I'll hurt you myself. Wow, lovely, fe <laughs> lovely fellow we've got. Them. We got a bit of a drive ahead of us. Jesus. At this point, I feel like it's good to lie to that guy. Ian. And you guys know I'm bad at lying. <laughs> Are you guys okay? The hell did he do to you? Hey, did he hurt you? Hey, hey! Oh my God, this season, it's gonna mess me up, y'all. It's gonna mess me up. Everyone said they can't wait for me to play this season. <sighs> In harm's way, this can't possibly go well. I feel like I need to turn the volume up, but I don't want to... Okay. Whew. I don't want to break anything. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day. Great start to your new year, if that's where you're at. A lot of fun games planned for the year. I don't know what I'm going to be doing for Let's Plays. As far as now is concerned, I'm going to be finishing all of the Telltale Walking Dead series, which is going to take a minute because there's a lot of seasons. So that's what I've got on the menu for Let's Plays. As far as um, streaming and uploading on YouTube goes, I finished The Witcher, so that's going to be uploading for a little minute. 
uh, there. And then also The Last of Us is going to be uploading closer to March 2023, April time frame. So a lot of people have recommended The Last of Us. So that's going to be really fun. But as always, if you have any recommendations for Let's Plays, it's going to be a minute until we finish The Walking Dead series. Feel free to post them in the comments section. I love to read your comments that are spoiler free. And then also you can feel free to join the Discord, discord.gg slash Aurelia. I don't think I've mentioned it to our Let's Play crew, but um, we talk a lot offline there and we have a big community on there that communicates about games and books and food and all sorts of things. So feel free to drop by there and post your recommendations. I'd love to have you. We gotta do something. Come on. Anyone got anything sharp? Anything? We need to get these bindings off. Hey, Clem, help me find something to get these off. Anything sharp that could cut these. And what good is that gonna do? What the hell is wrong with you people? We gotta get out of here. Like what? What do you mean, like what? Something sharp. Anything that can help. A, a fucking... I don't know. Anything! We're in a fucking precarious position here. We gotta do something about Settle that. Settle down, Kenny. They took everything. We have to keep a level head. He's right. You don't know Bill like we do. Bill? This whole time it's Carver, Carver, Carver. Now he's fucking Bill? That's a good point. Oh, I see what it is. Y'all are just getting a ride home, Oh, aren't you? no, That's Kenny. That's what's going on here. Say that again. I'd stay out of this, boy. No. Mister, I ain't a boy. No, right. You're a man. You don't understand. He's different. He's worse. The fuck are you talking about? He wants to punish us. What do you mean worse? He's a fucking psychopath now. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Oh, he gave me a pretty good goddamn idea back in the I mean, lodge, he tracked us down for miles. sit around here and let that happen to the rest of us. So I can get a pretty good idea that he's I'm pretty trying determined. I'm to help. I'm sure Walter really appreciated your help. Oof. That's not fair. You're blaming him for the actions of a madman. I am True. pointing out that regardless of intent, there are consequences to rash actions. Something that he seems to be misreading as capitulation. I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but I know it's bullshit. We have to do something. Kenny, you can't reason with him. Oh shit. Jackpot. Sit down. Oh my you're cat. going to get us all killed. Y'all don't know what you're talking about. We get cooped up in some kennel like a bunch of fucking dogs. It's over. You don't know that. Yeah? Well, I've been in this situation before. You ever been a prisoner? We've all been prisoners. Why do you think we left? Stop fighting! Please. All right. Now we're talking. Nice. Carver will be on the other side of that door with ten people. <laughs> there, there, baby. Oh, it's my okay. God. Everything's gonna be fine. I know she's just a kid and she's got At a lot of anxiety, point, but the like. Only hope we have. If he was gonna do something, he'd have done it by now. Who knows what he's doing? I wanna kick her ass. Anything can happen out there. I'll tell you what happened. He abandoned us. You don't know that. I know he ain't here. He may not be around, but he wouldn't just leave us behind. We'll have that to wait and see. Flake. I could tell the second I set eyes on him. We'll have to wait and see. It's all we can do. She's right. There's no way to know what's happened to him. I told you already. He's gone. Which one's cuter, Luke or Nick? I'm a Nick stan. We're close. Okay, let's do this. Personally? They have guns. What exactly do you expect to do? I'm gonna punch the first son of a bitch I see, <laughs> then I'm gonna take his gun and use it to shoot the next son of a bitch I My see. My god, just Kenny. Shut up, Doc. This ain't your call. Damn. Hey, just, if something happens, just help out, okay? Don't, you know, get this yourself hurt or nothing, call. but any help would be good. This is ass kick and call, hey, Doc. Look at me. You trust me, right? Yeah. Kenny, please, just, just listen to them. Yeah, okay. I trust you. I'll, I'll do what I can. All right. It's okay to be a little scared, but we got Okay, it. Kenny has not let us down. Sorry for the pause, but he has not let us down. He was very faithful to Lee. Rip in peace, Lee. Like, he has given us no reason to not 
Trust him. Do this. All right. Everybody ready? Kenny! Uh, Kenny, are you okay? Is he okay? I think so. Oh, he, what hit me? He also might have gone off the it's rails a bit for the best. since we left. Because the new girlfriend was God saying he's changed. For shit. All right, up and at him. And they're gonna see he's unbound. Fuck? How'd you get your restraints off? Come here. We've got some familiar faces back with us tonight. Now, I understand some of you are confused as to why we bring these people back when they left us as they did. I think I've got an idea. Now, it might not come all at once, but time will heal these wounds. So be patient with them until it does. And take solace in knowing that. They're here to help us make our home a better place. To take over All a Lowe's or Home Depot? Anger, betrayal, hate. Now, they're all valid. No one needs to forget what they did. But we do have to find it in our hearts to forgive them. Look how much food they have. Oh, I hope you ain't saying what I think you're saying. As many of you already know, a large herd of lurkers gathers just south of us. Come on. We need you for something. Can it wait until morning? We're all exhausted. Just come to fuck on. <laughs> I need him. I need my dad. Oh my god. He looks after me. Yes, you'll die. Poor girl. Grow up. He'll be back. When? I don't know. But he will come back. Thanks, How am I Matt. supposed to know? <laughs> I've got a lot of time to learn before I can become a parent. Because my patience threshold is quite low. I don't know if anyone in the comments section can relate. And I'm sorry with my frustration. But like, how has she been raised this sheltered by her, the doctor? They're in a freaking zombie apocalypse. And... You don't know how to do anything? Anything? At all? I know she's worried and- oh, I can't. I don't want to beat a dead horse, but- Make sure y'all stay off the fence. Bill can say if you're messing with it. Just to survive. It's our obligation to make this community a beacon of hope. Thanks, Barney. Yep. To provide a light. A bright light. Bright enough to shine in all this darkness. Jeez. So that is what we'll do. Y'all best get some rest, because there ain't gonna be much for you tomorrow. You're gonna be working hard. <sighs> That's for you. Yeah, it would be. Fucking Bill. Keeps me out in the cold, but at least I'll be comfortable. Hey, guys. Richie! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. What did they do to you? This could have been worse. Trust me. I'm lucky to be alive. What? It's my fault. No, it's really not. I would tell you if it was. This happened well after you guys left. I guess I should say... Reggie helped us. You, but when we ran away. I know. I feel the same way. Why didn't he go with you guys when you left? I think maybe he was supposed to. But then he fell. And everybody kept running. Oh, jeez. I know he had both his arms then. They got me working outside. Lurker just snuck up on me while I was hammering something. Luckily, they took the arm off quick. Saved my life. That's a lie. That's awful. I'm so sorry. How Look, quick? it was my choice to help you guys. Alvin, Carver wants you in his office. What? Why? Don't make this difficult. It's too late for that. No, please. It's okay, but Wait, was that the chick that walked up? Was she the chick from 400 Days that walked up to the people in the encampment and was like, hey, y'all, we have food, we have whatever, we have all these things, which was I playing as her in 400 Days to convince, like, the campers to come join us? Wait, she looks familiar. Heck, just get some rest. If he wanted to do something to me, he'd have done it already. I'll be fine. Let's see what he wants. Because the hair, it's the hey, hair and Reggie. the voice. Oh, hey, Troy. Don't go fucking up now. 
Bill's real close to letting you out of here. You make sure things stay nice and quiet out here tonight, and I'll be sure to let Bill know just how helpful you were. Yeah, you can count on me. Thanks, Troy. Don't mention it. Hmm. I don't know if I like that guy. Reggie? Oh, right. Let me introduce you. We were with them when we got caught. Hey, I'm Reggie. That's Sarita. Hello. And that's Kenny. Hey, yeah. Hello, who are you? This freaks you out. It's okay. Freaks me out too sometimes. My name's Clementine. It's very nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, where's Carlos? Bill's already got him looking at some folks. Oh, okay. Good. What about Pete? Can you guys save it for the morning? Some of us gotta be up early. Who's that? I don't know. I don't recognize the voice. No problem. Sorry about that. And his ear is missing. He's got okay, like a- Okay, that's Mike. He's kind of a dick when he's tired. But, like I said, he saved my life, so... I put up with that shit. Bill put him to work outside the wall with me. I'm so sorry. Stop with all the sorry. It was my choice. Besides, he said once you were all caught, he'd let me rejoin the group, so... I'm glad you're here. I'm just joking. I know. I mean, he did say that, but I'm not happy about it. Who's she? Hmm? Who? She the, the girl over daughter, there? Daughter, the singing one from 400 Days or oh, no? Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so she's fucking weird. They found her sneaking around outside <gasps> the camp covered in guts and just like the grossest shit. It's probably best not to stare. Oh, no. I know how it must look, but it's really not that bad here. Yeah. Reggie. No, I'm serious. Where else are you going to find food like we have? they rope you we've back. We've got the canned stuff, and now with the greenhouses coming along, we've got fresh food. The building's getting more and more secure all the time, mostly through forced labor, but that's only temporary. <laughs> They've even got the solar panels working. When was the last time you had electricity, huh? Well, we just came from a lodge with a wind turbine. It's and... not a competition. I'm just saying, <laughs> it's not as bad as you think. We're building something great here, guys. A are real you? community. Bill is making it happen. Yeah, and by forcing Look, us I've back. I've made mistakes, and he's forgiven me. That doesn't make up for what he's done, Reggie. Carver killed my friend Walter. Okay, I, I don't know what happened, but maybe he had his reasons. His reason is he's a crazy piece of shit. <laughs> Listen, Get him, Kenny. I'm really close to getting let back into the group. Once that happens, I can do a lot more to help you guys be more comfortable. Comfortable? What do you think this is? I just don't want you to mess things up for me. I've worked really hard. So he's been working get the this entire time since the group left, since this half of the group disbanded and left to try to get his place back in society, in this society. That's crazy. He's been working the whole time. At this point, will you please just try not to cause any trouble? At least until they release me. Then once I'm out, we won't I get you in trouble. You more. Maybe even help get you out. We won't get you in trouble. They're expecting me to keep things in line out here. Well, if Carver's such a great guy, I'm sure you've got nothing to worry about. Right. We can at least talk about it more in the morning. Just have a quiet night and chat again tomorrow. Huh. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Look, the fact is, Bill had every reason to kill me when I helped you guys, but he didn't. Obviously, I don't know what happened while you were all gone, but he's given me a second chance, and I know he'd do the same for you. Oh, do you now? Reggie, I don't want a second chance. He's kind of psycho. I want to with my family. That's it. Your family is safer here. That's not for you to decide, buddy boy. I need to sit down. Yeah, come on. Sarah, can you go see if there's something for her to drink? Okay. Yeah, there's water over by the benches. Ah, oh, that didn't go as planned. Should have actually made a plan. <laughs> what a voice line. Man, fuck that guy. I don't think we can trust him. I don't either. I mean, clearly he's already drank too much of the Kool-Aid. I think he's I scared. Think he's just scared. Everybody's scared. Ain't an excuse to sound like a nutcase. Yeah. You he's... gotta take a look around. Oh God. We gotta know if there's anything we can exploit to get out of here. We're in a tight spot. Gonna have to wriggle our way out. But then Reggie will get in trouble. If you don't make a bunch of noise, I'm sure he'll be fine. That Troy asshole's gone for now. 
This is our chance. Don't worry about Reggie. I'll go help run interference on him. <laughs> run interference on him. Holy heck, am I gonna go talk to them? Look at soil. Walker just snuck up on you, huh? Yep. I was uh distracted. Talk to Sarah. Why would I talk to Sarah? There's all kinds of noise, hammering and stuff. I saw its shadow. It moved in front of one of our work lamps down here and knocked it over. Couldn't even see for a second. That's when it got me. Dude. I can't believe you survived. I can't either, honestly. But Mike killed the walker, then took off the arm really quick, like he'd done it before. Took him two or three swings, but still alive. How? I still think he got higher than he needed to, but what are you going to do? How quick? Because we know very well, chat, you and I know, that that's not very scientifically possible. Reminds so me of the jewelry store. Mm. Up out. He had to have like and cut it at it anyway. yeah, like lightning said, speed. Like Mike had done it before. He had a tourniquet on me real quick. Real quick. Mm. And this place seems pretty secure. Mm hmm. Fence gap. So, how did you end up with a name like Reggie? Kenny! What? I'm just asking. No, it's okay. It's not my real name. Well, my first day in the U.S., I stopped and got a coffee, and the girl behind the counter looks kind of crappy. My name, so I told her it's Rajiv. Then I just stood there while a guy yelled Reggie for five minutes, and that's when I thought I should really get out ahead of this. Oh my God! <laughs> mm, looks rickety. Duh. Ooh, Nick. How hey, are you doing, Nick? Just thinking about Luke. Just. There's no way he's gone. That he left. We're gonna see him, like, season three. Cause me, I've known him for damn near 20 years now, and I can't buy it. Of course, I can't say the thought never crossed my mind. Things change. Whole damn world change. I think you're right. He'd never leave you guys behind. Us guys, you mean? Yeah, us guys. <sighs> Guess I'll try and get some sleep. You should, too. They're gonna ride our asses tomorrow for sure. Okay. Night. Mm hmm. Poor guy. Look at woman. Wait, look at bed frame? Guess it's better than the ground. It's not. Uh huh. Is there a fish? Jesus. All right, chat. <laughs> Fish. See? Hmm. <laughs> no comment on that one. All right. Talk to Mike. Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not make bad first impressions by Talking to the man who doesn't want to be talked to? All right, Sarah, what you got for us? Huh? I'm trying to be good. What? Reggie asked me to be good, so I'm being good. I don't want him to get in trouble. I'll talk to you later. How is talking? I've had enough of Sarah. I'm gonna feed her to the walkers. I didn't treat him very well these last few weeks. Things got so complicated so fast became all about getting through each day. Mm -hmm. I'm trying real hard to remember the last time I told him that I loved him. Aww. I've been racking my brain, but I just can't remember. I'm sure he knows. In his heart, I'm sure he knows. I hope that's true. Yeah, all right, it sucks. Going. I'll be fine. I appreciate you checking up I mean, on especially me. as like a pregnant lady during a zombie apocalypse and you're already hormonal AF, you know, like... God. I'm sure you hate everything most of the time. One day you hate everything, the next day you love everything. Oh boy. Dad! Bitch! Alright, go the fuck to sleep. I'm shooting the first one of y'all I see wandering around before sunup. Troy, where's Alvin? Everybody get to bed. Some of these folks, 
Ain't too keen on leaving. It's up to us to figure out a way out of here. You up for it? It's your decision. Do I have a choice? Of course. Really? Nah, not really. You gotta <laughs> do this one. Now get some sleep. We'll need it. God. No. Do you have a choice? Really? No. Get up. Bill's gonna have a word. There's been increased walker activity along the fence, so be mindful when outside the walls. The herds moved a little closer as of this morning. But that still doesn't necessarily mean we'll be hit. No, we're monitoring the situation. Now... It is the chick, I think. There are some folks might be sore about what happened. 400 days? And how things went. Hmm. Well, that's all in the past now. Hmm. Some of you are new to our community. Some of you are members who went astray. But know that you can find redemption here. Forgiveness by proving your worth through what will undoubtedly be hard work. Sounds like Animal Farm by George Orwell. Reggie, you're nearly back in. Keep following the path and we'll welcome you back with open arms. How'd you sleep? Colt. I'll let Reggie be an example I to you all. So tired. Salvation is available, but it I didn't even must realize be earned. That. Pay attention. Kenneth will be I'll taking over later. Reggie's okay. duties outside okay, the wall. Okay, yeah. Sounds good. Oh my god, this Michael bitch. Will continue on oh, showing his was value. Nice. Ah! The final Carlos! Lady. Yes? Your child seems to be in need of correction. Idiot. I'm sorry. I... Sarah, apologize to Mr. Carver. S I'm sorry, sir. No, no. That ain't gonna cut it. I can't have this kind of behavior on day one of your reform. Oh, Lord. You discipline her now, Carlos. How do you propose that one I... One good smack across the mouth should do it. It'll make her think twice before opening it up again. Go on, we'll wait. Uh... My... I'm not sure with my hand that I... Well, could... that's why you got two hands, Carlos. Come on! Not some namby-pamby thing, all right? A good hard smack. Otherwise, Troy here will do it for you. I don't think you want that. He can be overzealous. Is that the word? If it means I'll slap the shit out of her, then yeah. Go on, Carlos. Just get it over with. It's my fault. Hey, no one's fucking talking to you. Unless you want one of what she's about to get, I'd pipe down, Missy. Hmm. I tried. At least Carlos will know that I try to be a good person there. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm Close sorry. Close your eyes, honey. It's only going to sting for a second. Do it. <laughs> Damn. He just smacked the diving, living. Sorry, Sarah. Stop! You're not coddling that girl anymore. Better sit there and think about what she's done. Jesus! Try to get Carlos to his post. Everyone else should have their assignments. It's time to get to work. He didn't hold anything back. God damn! You really knocked the shit out of her, Doc. Everyone, get to work. You're working in the armory. Follow me. Soil coming up. God damn this thing. Oh shit. Clementine. Holy heck. Who is this? She's one of the new people. She was with Carlos and Sarah. Uh, and... Sarah? I wish she'd stayed gone. Oh. She's had a hard time, Becca. Jesus. So have we. We're not sitting on the ground like babies. Go on inside. Bonnie's waiting. Hmm. Hey. 
Hey, I guess you're starting your day with me. We're loading magazines. Hmm. This chick is for sure the one from the 400 Days episode where we we're in the cornfield and we killed the wife of the guy. Did you guys play 400 Days? Is that an optional thing? Because everyone said you have to do it, you have to do it. So I'm guessing it plays into the way like my decisions affect season two, but I still don't know yet. Haven't seen it yet. I don't That's know. It. You got it. Hmm, she's being awful nice. I suppose I owe you an apology. I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge, and I was shown a kindness I never would have expected from a group of strangers. Yeah, and then he got but killed. Now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. But the plan was for no one to get hurt. I truly believe that was the intent. It is your fault. <laughs> it a was lot of just people. a bad situation. It's your fault! <laughs> got worse. A lot of people are to blame. That's big of you, but I know what I've done. Aww. But I wanted you to know I regret my part in all this. I apologize. Which don't account for much, but it's all I can offer right now. Mm. How was your first night in the yard? I know it ain't so comfortable, but it's safe. Which is more than I can say about a lot of places out there. You mean my first night in prison? It ain't a prison. More of a work release. Didn't they do those in prisons? Well, I... <sighs> probably. I don't know. I've never been to prison. Don't tell no one. I'm trying to keep a tough reputation. <sighs> I was supposed to go. When Luke and Carlos and all them left, I was planning on leaving too. Really? When Luke approached me about it, I, th I thought he was crazy. I mean, we're safe here. We got power, we got food, and Bill, he-, he I gotta be tactical. Like Why this. didn't you leave? Why didn't you leave? I mean, yeah. If I'm being honest, I guess I chickened out. Hmm. I justified not going by telling myself it's easier to try and change something that's broken than Start all over. Take this situation with the herd. That's the type of thing that rips a community Sometimes it's apart. easier to start fresh when something's already he rotten. He things in line. He's got a lot of this stuff figured out. What I changed? Know. I guess I just wanted to be somewhere comfortable for yeah. a while. What changed? I don't know. I've been trying to figure that out myself. I mean, it ain't easy keeping a group this big fed and protected. I don't envy that position figured that'd make anyone a little stressed a little stressed i'm not defending what he did that was <sighs> i'm alive because of him that's just a fact he killed walter only to protect his own people kenny could have killed us all but he didn't bill overreacted he was in the heat of the moment and he overreacted i don't think Luke so had ideas about how things should go but they didn't line up with what bill was thinking they butted heads. Then Rebecca started showing, and that only made things worse. Rebecca? Wait, who's Rebecca? Maybe Luke was right about him. I wish he was around, but I just hope he's safe. Hey, Bonnie, is that girl down there? I need to come get her. Yeah, she's here. Okay, I'll be right over. Huh. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, almost forgot. I grabbed this for you. Yeah, I'm sure it's fine, too. Very sure. Huh? What do you think? Is I that... found it at the lodge y'all were at. Think it might be for scan. Had to wait for no one to be around to get it to you. You better watch yourself. <laughs> I think some folks might be jealous of that cool jacket of yours. Oh, there you are. What's with the ugly jacket? Tavia. Jeez. What? Never mind. I'll see you later, Clementine. <laughs> Come on. Instant roast. Follow me. Come on. So the ugly. <laughs> me? Hiring now. Greenhouse. Hmm. Stay Ooh, in here for a minute. I'm going to radio down and find out what you're doing. Don't touch anything. The greenhouse. What am I gonna do? Put cyanide on the plants? <laughs> oh, is it Sarah? Hey. 
Are you okay? I know it's... it's gotta be hard. My dad's never hit me before. <laughs> Even when I was really bad. <laughs> he never hit me. He didn't want to do it, Sarah. Carver made him. He's the bad guy, not your dad. So, in a weird way, Carver's the one that hit you, not your dad. I guess so. Carver hit me super hard, because it still hurts like crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it looked like it. Well, thanks for trying to help. I don't know why people have to be so mean. Like, even when I'm really mad, I still don't want to hurt anyone. Dang, that thing is red like a tomato. Also, how don't is she this up. hiding yeah, out here? Yeah, I get it. Reggie's in charge here, okay? Listen to him carefully. Yep, no problem, Davia. Oh, he knows he's, he's here. Okay. Okay, we gotta do a good job, guys. The camp is counting on us. Come on, I'll show you what to do. It's super easy. Hmm. Little greenhouse Pick job? Pick up a pair of those shears. Okay, so we're picking these berries, right? Just pick them, put them in the basket. Simple. Simple. While you're at it, if you see any dead branches, take those shears and cut them off and stack them neatly for composting. Got it? Got it. What if I take the shears back? Hey, so... Is she gonna be okay? Because <sighs> what happened down there? That was straight fucked up. I don't want her freaking out and getting me in trouble. I don't really have anything to say if to that. If you don't have an opinion, you should just say so. Instead of making people wait for an answer, just like, shake your head no or something. Look, Bill's had it out. Well, sometimes people don't want to answer you, and you're talking to me when I didn't ask to talk to you. So, I don't have to answer you. <laughs> I mean, like, this guy is engaging in conversation with me, and I don't trust him, and I don't particularly like him. I don't dislike him, really, but, like, I'm gonna fight today. I'm gonna fight someone. Ever since I helped those guys escape, so I gotta concentrate on my work. Mm. <laughs> that was awkward. I won't do that again. I'm gonna go work now. And you wonder why I don't want to give you a response, you heckin' weirdo. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that was a lot of trauma for her. The Goyle. Man, at least they don't have a timer on this shit. I wish I had a chat here sometimes, but it is good that I don't because I am forced to make my own decisions. My inner I hate Sarah and she sucks vibe is do your own work. Like what? Why should I help her? She's just cutting blueberries. Oh, I feel like it's so much nicer to help her. But what if I get in trouble for not doing my work because I'm helping her? Such a small decision, but I really don't want to help her. Like, <sighs> she can do this on her own, even though she she is really sad, though. Fine. I feel like you guys will judge me if I hit do my own work. Hey. Here, watch me. Like you guys would be like, damn, Aurelia, you're cold, you're mean. This isn't that hard, Sarah. I know, I'm just afraid I'll make a mistake. You're literally picking you blueberries. Lose the world if you do. Just keep going. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Carver. Oh, yep, I knew it. You didn't do any of your work, Clem. <laughs> just checking in. See how the new girls are working out. I knew it. Reggie. Yeah, Bell. Hey. What the fuck happened in here? 
Look, Bill, they're new, and me with my arm, it's just not the easy... I just have... I have one arm... Shut up, so... shut up. Shut the fuck up. Ay, ay, ay. You better have an explanation for this. And I mean now. Bill, please, just... It sounds just... like you're about to give me an excuse when I asked for an explanation. We'll get it done. Just give us some more time. It was my fault. I didn't show Sarah well enough. I guess. No, this ain't your fault. We talked about this, Reggie, didn't we? But you just don't get it, do you? No, I... what? I, I. Why don't you girls wait outside? Reggie and I have a few things to talk oh, about. Oh no! Thanks for the help, girls. What's wrong, Sarah? Are you okay? Holy... No, I gave no, you no, plenty no. of chances! Please, Bill. No. Is he gonna jump off the no. roof or get pushed no. off? No! Please! Ah! Weakness. Incompetence. It puts us all at risk. And it won't be tolerated. You think about that. The next. Should I have help? Just done my own work? Would he have lived? Time you're asked to do something. Get downstairs. Bonnie's got some stuff for you to do. Go. I want to Google that now. Uh. Uh. Long way down. Holy shit. Oh, Season hey. So, two. they want you to run some supplies out to the guys working at the expansion? Real simple. Just take this over to them. That jacket looks real nice. I don't know what Tavia's talking about. What's wrong? Clem? You alright? You look like you've seen a ghost. Reggie. Reggie's dead. Yeah, I'm gonna tell the truth. You guys think I'm gonna lie? And this chick looks like she has a good heart. Ish. I mean, she's obviously a little bit corrupted because she's in this cult. Okay, I'm reading. Uh, in harm's way. Help Sarah do her own work. When Carver comes, he blames Reggie for the lack of progress. If either Clementine didn't do her work, by helping Sarah, or if Sarah didn't pick the berries correctly. Okay, looks like he was gonna die regardless. That doesn't necessarily make me feel better because, I mean, he's still dead, but it makes me feel better knowing that... I have Google Hub just in case. It makes me feel better knowing that he was gonna die regardless because I was like, oh my god, I just got that man killed! It's like the time... Oh, well, not nearly as bad, but it's like when Lee got his arm bit because I didn't check behind the trash can first for the zombie. That was going to happen either way. What? What are you talking about? Carver killed him. He pushed him off the roof. Maybe... Maybe it was just an accident. Bro, she is so dumb. Listen to me. Take this stuff out to those guys and come straight back. Just be safe, okay? Now ain't the time to be calling attention to yourself. Oh my gosh, guys. This season. We need season. to go find out what happened. Hey, Troy. Clem's just gonna take them boys some nails. All right. Go on. Hey! That ain't your concern. Get that stuff over to them boys. Just follow them cables. What's this area they're occupying? There's a hardware store, there's like shoe stores. This is just like an out old outlet, like strip mall thing. Hmm. I ain't nobody's laborer. Fuck that. Let them do this shit themselves if it's so goddamn important. Get your fucking hands off you me, You ain't man. gonna force me to do this bullshit. I said get your hands off me. Or what? You gonna go tail on me? I'm trying to help you, asshole. Reggie's dead. Carver killed him. What? 
You sure? Who did you? Shit! Fuck! Grab something! Come on. I did the best I could, I promise. So heavy. tried so hard. Get up. Get out of there. Come on. Make me save your ass. Jesus. Oh, thank God you're okay. All right, enough mushy shit. You get back inside right fucking now. I'm sure they got shit for you to do in there. Now! Think I'm fucking around? Now I gotta sit down here and babysit you assholes. Can't do a simple fucking patch job without me here cracking the whip? Jesus. This guy's got a superiority complex. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna heck and tell everybody that the dude killed the guy. I mean, I think everyone knows by now that he does whatever he wants. me. Luke! Yes. Man, bit the hell out of me. Think you drew blood. Come all this way. This is, this is the welcome I get. I'm glad to see you. Oh! I was worried. I was mistaken. I totally confused the two. It's been a minute. Everything that I said about being Team Nick, I completely lied. Nick was the one with the black hair and the blue eyes that was a little bit sus and I didn't know how I felt about him. Luke's the one that we're in love with. Listen, I can have a crush. I'm an eight-year-old girl, okay? He's a dreamboat. Team Luke all the way. Comments below if you're Team Luke or Nick. My bad. We all were. Oh, it's good to see you too, kid. All right, listen, we ain't got much time. Okay, I followed y'all here best I could. I haven't had a night's rest since y'all got nabbed. And, well, that's the first chance I got to talk to somebody. <laughs> They're everywhere, okay? They got guards watching everything. How did you get in? Shh, shh. You just know the place, I guess, because he used to stay here. Hmm. There's a herd of lurkers just south of us. It's bigger than I ever seen around these parts. Jeez. Carver mentioned that. Said he hopes it passes us. Yeah, I heard folks talking about that, but that ain't so. Okay, it's gonna hit this place. I know it is. Now, I don't know when, but it's coming and it's gonna be soon. Gee, is really? See, I've looking for places to, to get you all free, but I haven't been able to find anything yet. Are you feeling okay? No. No, I mean, uh, yeah, yes. Sorry. Has he been bit? I, I just could use some sleep, you know. Hard to rest when you think a lurker's about to get the jump on you at any any moment. But yeah, <sighs> yeah, I'm fine. Okay, don't worry about me. Looks a little green. It seems dangerous. Well, the whole situation's dangerous, but well, we're in it now. It's what we got. Okay. We just we just need a plan, you know, a way to get you and, and everyone. Like a machete on his back. He's been bit. Luke! Oh, sorry. Sorry. Shit. Okay, Troy ain't gonna like you being late. Listen, Clem, I need you to meet me here tomorrow about this time. Because I, I need you to get me one of those radios, okay? Do you think you can do that? Just just one of those walkie-talkies. I just need to be able to tell y'all what's going on with them guards. You know, I'll figure out the schedule the patrols are on. I mean, they're, they're all over the place, but I can keep an eye on them for y'all from out here. Look, we ain't gonna be able to shoot our way out of here, so we gotta be careful. 
Where do I get one? I think they keep them in the stockroom. I ain't completely sure, though. Just keep your eyes out for the charging station. Now, they put most of them back on there at night. Remember, you meet me here tomorrow. I'll try and be here around this time, but if I ain't, just wait as long as you can, because I really need one of those radios. And just let everybody know I'm all right, okay? I'm worried they, uh... Get out where I can see you. Go on. Get out of here. It's got, like, a ripped-up shirt a little bit. The hell were you doing? Huh? I was looking at comics. There's a whole store full of them. Yeah? No shit. You best not dawdle, girly. Pull something like that again and you'll be meeting the back of my hand. Bill Radio wants a word with you up in his office. So get on up there, now! Oh no, is he gonna be like, I heard you've been... You've been flapping your trap about how a certain situation up on the roof... I feel like it's literally gonna be like you've been you've been yakking about. Hmm. Listen in. Rebecca, did he kill him? She's a strong woman, surrounded by weak men. I ain't letting my kid get raised around that. What? Get in here. Did she? Did he? What? Y'all, I'm... Alvin? This episode? Alvin! He passed out hours ago. He can't hear nothing. No point in making a racket. Why are you doing this? Me and him, we got history. Understand? A couple things we had to get worked out. Dude, I can't with this episode. I wouldn't be so concerned about his well-being if I were you. Not with you being so close to the fire yourself. Now... About what you saw on the roof. Oh my god, I hate this freaking... You make sure you tell me the truth when you're sitting where you are. And you won't end up over in that chair. Now, you might not believe this after what happened earlier, but... I liked Reggie. He was a funny guy. He kept things light. You need folks like that. It's easy to let depression sink in during times like this. But he was weak. And I don't mean just because he was maimed. That wasn't his problem. He was weak of will and weak of character. And this guy can decide and character. can't have that around here. Not anymore. Not with what we got at stake. Sure, I understand. I understand. I knew you were a smart girl. Why would I fly? You see, Reggie put us at... Why would I be honest and tell him he's a psychopath? That's going to put me in a more... Um, in a more dangerous situation. A more risky situation by expressing to him that I dislike him. Hell no. I mean, I'll tell others the truth, but I'm too, like, others that I trust the truth. But to his face, no, I'm, I'm the perfect citizen. Yes, I will be. Yes. Yes. Risk the with perfect. his incompetence. He's had a string of screw-ups lately. Killing one in order to save many is part of survival. Perfect worker. It's one of the tough decisions that a weaker person couldn't make. It's why it falls to people like us. To lead them to safety. Yes. You understand? Yes. Well, I wish it was different, I do. But they are weak, and we are strong. That's why it's our responsibility <sighs> to shepherd the flock. To keep them safe. I wish Kenny had it's killed you. It's to follow, not to lead. I know. I have to do everything for them. It's exhausting. Of course it is. But that's the role you're meant to play. Ha <laughs> more alike than you think. Yes. There's no way you could have lasted this long otherwise. I realized it back in that cabin. You were scared. But you looked me straight in the eye. Kept your nerve. That's what we need. If we're gonna get through this, the next generation has to be stronger than the last to lead us out of this. Mm -hmm. Kids like you, raised the right way. The way my child will be raised. It ain't this herd that keeps me up at night. We can handle that. It's not knowing. If I got anyone to hand all this off to. But I ain't worried about that anymore. All right, now. Bill, you there? I don't want to say anything. Yeah, I'm here. The loading bay door is jacked. Troy really knocked the shit out of it. How bad is it? Rails are tweaked so it won't shut all the way. I don't think it's an emergency or anything, but it's something Stan should take a look at when he can. I'll get him on it. Out. That fucking idiot. 
<laughs> Heard on its way, and he puts a goddamn ding in my door. Go on back out to the yard. It's almost supper time. This whole episode is giving me a knot in my gut. Like a sick feeling in my stomach. Not like other episodes where I'm sad and mostly upset. <laughs> sad, upset, a little angry sometimes, sometimes happy. This episode is just like making me... I don't know what that son of a bitch is gonna do next. Disgusting. So you want to ring the dinner bell for a herd of walkers to show up? How is that better? Cause this place will be fucking chaos when that thing hits. No one will be paying any attention to us, and that's when we go. It's our opening. We just gotta figure out a way to draw them to us. We need Your to tell. Here wants to get us killed by lurkers before Bill can do it. Yeah, what I need to tell him about that's Luke. That's what it sounds like to me. You know that's not what he's saying, but it does sound dangerous. Maybe Luke could help us. He's outside. He wants a radio to help keep an eye on the guards. Thank you. That's the plan I vote for. You know about Luke? He flagged us down when Troy wasn't looking. Told us his plan. Mentioned he talked to you. Nice, if good. If can tell us what's going on with the guards. That, makes the, that means that he is a lot more reliable. Not that we don't trust our baby boy Luke, but he did just kind of show up out of nowhere with this magical god sent plan. You know, Deus Machina, where he comes in. He's like, I have this magical plan with a wonky talkie. He's actually consulted other members of the group, so it's not like he's just pulling me aside as, like, the favorite to tell me his plan. This makes me feel better about the whole situation. We can use that <laughs> to pick a good time to escape. Mm -hmm. That seems reasonable. Mm -hmm. Who knows when that'll be? Mm -hmm. There was a girl back at Crawford that used church bells to send walkers all yeah, over the city. Yeah, there was. We just need something really loud. This place loud. reminds me of Crawford in a weird, scaled-down kind of way. The system Carver is always using is quite loud. Yeah, it is. There's some speakers outside the building, pointed toward the parking lot. I saw him when we were walking out to the work. Troy's always standing next to one of them. Mm -hmm. I saw the controls. They're in Carver's office. Sure are. She's right. It's all controlled in Bill's office. There's a switch in there that'll turn them on. How do you know that? I used to make a lot of the announcements back in the day. I had it flipped on once. Luckily, there wasn't much around at the time to hear it. It was plenty loud, though. That's perfect. We just gotta get into his office. Why didn't you say something sooner? Because it doesn't change anything. This bitch. I don't- I have ne I have never trusted her. I don't care if you're pregnant. That doesn't mean that you're not- you can't be a snake. I don't- I- I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about her, y'all. This isn't a discussion about how to do it. It's a discussion about whether it's stupid. And it's still stupid. Was she, like, having an affair with Carver? And then the PA system turned on when they were making out? The sensible thing is to get Luke the radio and wait for an opening. I don't know. You're real difficult to deal with sometimes. Penny. No, that's all right. You ain't exactly a peach either. <laughs> why can't we do both? Yeah, why Even not? If we bring the herd to us, it's probably good for Luke to be able to tell us where they're coming from. Mm -hmm. You know what? Fine. I can get behind that. Okay, so we get that turd radio. Yeah, he keeps turd. us posted on the herd's movement. We fire up the PA thing and bring the walkers to roll over this place. And then what? Get some guns and shoot our way out. I don't know. Whatever we can. We improvise. And that's not a plan. You don't plan to improvise. I figured out what your problem is. You don't think this stuff through. If the end of the plan is just to stroll through a herd of walkers, then you should know from the jump there's no way it's ever going to work. Actually, I do it all the time. Yeah, with guts. It's true. First words I ever hear you say, and it's just some crazy, stupid <laughs> shit. <laughs> What do you mean exactly? When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. Yep. Now I don't know who's crazy. It's true. Clem can vouch. Trust me. I've walked through herds before. It works. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. I've done it too. What? It's how we got out of the marsh house. Lee covered me and we walked right through. Really? Holy shit. Yep. Oh, good one, Lee. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get that stupid radio. We still have to find a way to get in the stock room. I got a plan for that, too. Come on, kid. Gonna need your help. Where the hell'd she come from? Yeah, huh? She's like a fly on the wall. We just need to use the winch. She can just climb up from there. Then just drop into one of the skylights over the stock room. There are shelves and stuff for you to land on, so 
You probably won't fall to your death. That's Great. good. That thing breaks all the time. Unless something's changed, it won't support much weight. Come on, up and at him. Don't push her, Kenny. She's our best bet. I mean that, Clem. Now or never, I guess. I mean, I've done all sorts of crazy things. We gotta get that rope down. Mike, you wanna boost her up? What am I gonna say? No. Come on, kid. And then what? We're gonna send Sarah? No way in hell are we sending Sarah to do anything. Don't hell let no. Go. I got you. All right, let's go. We got this, chat. Everyone, close your eyes. Oh, this is where the soil fell down from. Is it gonna do hook me? I'm holding on to the keyboard. Try to hurry, all right? I don't think they're the sharpest guards in the world, but they're no idiots either. They see you not in your bunk, we're all done. Yeah, I get it. Shit, he's coming back. I gotta let you go. I can't stand here. Grab something. Jesus. Oh my god. We're in trouble. How is he planning on fending off that entire team? What? Holy heck, y'all. Huh. Man, you're not gonna believe what I'm looking at. There's gotta be two or three thousand of them out there. Except in the parking lot? No, not in the parking lot. I can't see them all, but why would I go in the greenhouse? The dust they're kicking up. Why is this an option? So you're not sure? What about how many there are? Okay, it's not. <laughs> yeah. How can I be? Fuck. I hope they pass by us. God, yeah. You think we're ready this time? I don't know. Bill thinks we are. Of course he does, but he thought the same thing last time. We learned a lot since last time. Is it enough, though? We'll find out if they turn this way. Yeah. Yeah. No, oh, Jesus. Emergency exit is a no. Greenhouse is a no. Sunroof is a no. Mm. Is there a way around? Like back? Oh, there's another one. Perfect. Skylight. Let's hope this works. Oh, gosh. Whew. Words going Bill. around. Go on. Nah, it's just I was wondering if you thought Bill maybe. Mm-hmm. Spit it out, Hank. I don't think Bill was gonna let him back in. Huh? You don't? No. Do you? I don't know. I don't. Oh, I thought so we were really, just listening. No I was just you looking. We're ready? I think so. The homestead, at least. I'm not sure about the expansion. Expansion. They're out there, just. Moaning. That's what they do. It's driving me crazy. It's really unnerving. I know what you mean. You figure we'd be used to it by now. I wouldn't figure that. You never got used to a light buzzing or anything? A little different when it's dead human beings walking around. A light buzzing. So what are you doing tomorrow? Bill wants me to start getting this bay door fixed. Is that why you're down there? Yep. What happened to it again? Troy backed into it when we brought the prisoners, the, the new people in. The prisoners? I to call them prisoners. Anyway, I'm looking at it now. I don't think we have what we need. Jesus, really? We repurposed a lot of shit to get this place built. 
I can't say for sure if we even had the materials before we started expanding. I don't know about you, but it seems like we really shouldn't be doing this yet. Shouldn't we just wait until we need more space to make more space? I don't know, Hank. Bill's got a plan. Look, let's say we call it for now. We'll talk later. Oh, I need to wait right, till it's... Talk to you later. Yep, later. Out. Out. Nah, when it's connected. Wait, what? Oh. Oh god. Right. You can't be smoking back <gasps> here. Vince, come on. Don't give me that. If Bill smells a whiff of smoke back here, he'll flip. That's what the guy. Thinking? You know what? I'm just gonna tell him. I'm not letting someone else get blamed for this. That's bullshit. 400 days, it's the guy. Vince. Vince, come on. From the woods. Vince. It is her. Oh, heck. Where's the guy from the patrol? <sighs> I'm afraid. Get him? Okay, oh jump down. I got you. <laughs> we best get in bed. Troy will be back any minute. Well? Come on, Clem. Don't keep us waiting. Shut up, Sarah. I want to hear it, idiot. You little devil. Oh, God, I'm on the ground. Bugs. Everybody stay where you are. Probably the last no of our worries. Suspicion. During a zombie apocalypse. That was so cool. Thank you, Clem. I told you you probably wouldn't die. Nice job. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> thanks. Yep. Anyway, get some rest. I thought about Duck today, about his dumb little face. First things that come to mind are always the dumb things he was doing. Kid was always running in circles. Every damn place he went, he just mm. run. He couldn't stop him. I cried so hard. It's harder to remember, he was a good boy. Well, long day tomorrow. One long day. Yeah. Is it going to end the episode or are we going to get to see the long day? I don't know how long I've been recording for. Okay. Ah. All right, we're all here. Someone's got to get the radio out to Luke. What's the problem? We should probably figure out who's doing what before we... Time to get up. Daylight's burning. They let you sleep in, all things considered. Where's my dad? He's where the rest of you are going. To work. Rebecca, Nick, Sarah, Jane. If you gotta take a piss, do it now. The next break won't be for a while. I like how I completely Troy forgot. coming up for the rest of you. <laughs> Who Nick and Luke were? Which one was which? Why just them? Like I said, Troy's coming for the rest of you. After all my love and commitment. All right, look, if we're gonna do something, we have to do it now. And if Luke's all we got, and we pair up with him. I can do it. Where's the meeting? Mike. Yeah? Clementine should do it. Are you fucking kidding? <laughs> no offense. Come on, that's crazy. She's a kid. Why would there's a million reasons? Did you see me she get the Luki? The Luki talkies. got the damn radio for us in the first exactly, place. Exactly the walkie talkies. Do you okay. see my skills? I'm sorry, Mike, but I don't know you from fucking Adam. All right. And if I'm trusting someone to do something this important, I'm trusting her. Kenny's right. I should do it. Don't do something stupid just to get some respect. She doesn't need your respect. Give me the radio. All right, little chickens. Let's get to pecking. All right. And don't think today's gonna be like yesterday. No way. No shenanigans. This rooster's gonna be surveilling your ass every second of the day, you hear? Oh. Got that? 
I'm afraid I need an answer, girl. Yes, sir. Come on. Jesus, I oh, feel like this you guy have your pockets all out. Served in the army for like Gonna get your he did like J Roxy or something. something. <sighs> oh, let's go. My god, that's so obvious, the antenna. Hey, she's with me? Oh shit, I almost forgot. Oh? Yeah. I can already see where this is gonna go, man. If this actually happens, I am going to go and give the walkie-talkie and she's gonna catch me at some point and she's just gonna let me do it because I've been nice to her. And because she's got well, good feelings her. in her heart. I don't care. Wait, wait, what's going on? Never mind. Just chores of a different sort. Come on, city mouse. Can't you cut her a break? She'd really rather keep with us, people she knows. What... what are we doing? Don't worry about it. Come on. Uh... I just wanted to make sure you were all right. I didn't believe you. When you told me about Reggie, I ran and found Bill once I yeah, left Yeah, she's on our Figured team. Even if he had done it, he'd make up some sort of excuse, but Bill was just so matter-of-fact about it. Like he'd pulled up a weed or something, like it had to be done, and that was just one of those moments when your blood runs cold. Goose pimples up and down your arm. Goose bumps? As it turns out the person you thought you knew was never there. You look anxious, Clementine. Something the matter? I still you don't know. know. You can talk to me, right? I don't know if we can trust her to that extent yet. I was dishonest when I first met you, but I swear on everything holy that'll never happen again. You can trust me. Bonnie, Luke's waiting for me to give this to him. He needs it. Clementine. And all I need from you is to just not care where I am for 15 minutes. If you get caught and you mention my name, Carver will be the oh, thank God. of your troubles. She's letting it happen. Okay. Thank God. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's go. Oh, thank God. How many people are here? I saw some unfamiliar faces, but... Oh, Jesus. Y'all better hurry that shit up. I hate babysitting you assholes. Luke? Luke? It's me, Clementine. It's safe to come out. That looks really old. He's probably fine. Luke! Where is he? Luke! If you're hiding, come out! Was he sleeping here? Luke! I swear to Christ you're gonna regret this! I was... You ain't supposed to be out here. You people been here one fucking day and already you're fucking up. Well, you wait and see what happens. Move! Hey! Get over there. And how is it that we're repaid for our trust? With treachery? With deceit? With theft? I don't want to say anything. I'll find out what's going on. Whatever you were planning is over. It's done. You can't just run from your problems. You can't just up and leave when it gets tough. Because there's nowhere else you can go where it ain't. Oh my gosh. Tough is all we got now. 
Get that through your fucking skulls. I'm so cold right now. Like, my blood just ran cold. Oh, no. Luke here, he can't help you now. You gotta help yourselves. You gotta help me find the strength to forgive you. Now you can start by telling me where the other one is. I'm gonna count to three. If that radio ain't in my hand by then, we'll have to make things more difficult. Of course I had it. One. Two. I found it. It's right here. I got it. It's all right. Sorry about that. Not sure what I was thinking. Three. <laughs> Fucker. <gasps> no! Oh, God! <gasps> Jesus Christ! Stop! Stop him! Somebody stop him! Troy, do Let something! Me go. Stop! Clementine! Help you me! You have to do this, Bill! No! Stop it! Kenny! <laughs> Kenny! Oh, I'm gonna fucking help Kenny! <laughs> Little shit. Bill! That's enough, Bill! Please! Bill, there's a breach! Oh my All god! Right, everyone come with me! Bonnie, you stick around. Make sure these folks don't get into any more trouble. Oh my god! Yeah. Okay. No supper for y'all tonight. Maybe an empty stomach will give you some perspective. And we'll try this again tomorrow. Huh. Do your best with him, Carlos. You need to get him able to move, because we're leaving tonight. Holy shit. We're leaving tonight. My God. Uh, ow. Dang it. I was so close to sobbing there. What'd she say? She said she can get us out of the pen if we can get the PA system going. Second she hears it, she'll run over and spring us. That's great. It's not great. What are you talking about? Look, I know part of this is my fault. I, I, I know. Why isn't it great? Because most of us are beat to shit or pregnant. And besides that, She's it's like... risky as hell. <gasps> it is pretty damn risky, guys. Risky? Did you see what that son of a bitch just did? Look, the plan works. Nothing needs to change. It's all set up. The hard part is done. This guy's fucking crazy. Who knows what he'll do next? Yeah, but now we're dealing with a guy beat to shit, Sarita in no shape to do anything, and I'm a goddamn mess. Look, we should rest up. Okay, we should bide our time, and we should wait for an opening. Bonnie's agreeing to help us tonight. And that doesn't mean she can't do it some other night. That's true, but... I don't know, guys. Luke's making sense. Maybe we should wait. We're not waiting. Ain't nothing out there, guys. Trust me, I looked. There's no food. There's no supplies. They picked everything clean. I'm just saying we gotta be sensible about this. Where's Kenny? Doc's over there working on it. And don't look good. I mean, the longer we wait, sure, we'll have people that heal, but we have someone that's getting only more pregnant by the second. I don't know when she's due, but she looks like she's a freaking basketball right now. Like... Is he going to be okay? His orbital is crushed. I don't think there's much hope for the eye. I got him as stable as I could, cleaned it, got some of the swelling down, bandaged it as best I could. But until he wakes up, we won't know if there's any damage to the brain. Jesus Christ. Loki. Fuck. Okay, look. Maybe I'm just playing devil's advocate here, but if... Damn it, if y'all are serious about going tonight, then we're going to have to start talking about maybe... Leaving some folks behind. No! There is no other way. This is bullshit. Well, I don't like it either, but guess what? It's where we're at. Kenny and I are only here because of you people. 
And now you intend to leave us behind. So we should risk all of our lives? What are you saying? Nothing. I'm, I'm just thinking out loud here. We'll figure something out, okay? Just... It's not fair. Life ain't fair, Clem. We're just trying to make the best of a bad situation here. No one wants to leave Kenny. Good. Because you won't have to. Oh my god. I'm all right, huh? We leave tonight. Plan don't change. Oh, Kenny. Not bad, old man. Thanks, <laughs> asshole. Aww. You are one tough bastard. He really the is. Tough bastards get their ass kicked in front of everybody. You all right? That wasn't your fault, okay? It's all right. All right. Well, then what now? We get the hell out of here. Like now, now. Yes. Where are we going? In case things get squirrely and we gotta make a break for it, we need a place to meet up. We could meet out at Parker's Run. The hell is that? It's a Civil War site a few miles north. Tourist trap. Got signs all over. Just follow the road. We stopped there after we escaped the first time. Luke and Carlos know where it is. It's not that far. Well, at least if a few folks know where it's at, it'll be easier to find if we're split up. All right, that works. Then we just need someone to go set off that PA, right? I mean, you never bother to explain who's supposed to do that. You look at me. <laughs> wait, Why wait, is it on. always me? She's the plan. I'm gonna need a boost. Mm. Be sure to remember to flip the switch for the outdoor speakers. Just the indoor speakers might not draw the herd. It's right on the microphone box. Right. Oh, God. By default, it's set to play music. So you should just have to turn it on, right? Then climb back up and drop into the stock room. We'll meet you there. Yep, I got it. Outside the box. The outdoor speaker switch. Be careful. No, Kimoki. Okay. You little baby. Clem, make sure you bring Alvin. Yeah. I don't know about all that, Chief, but we'll try. No, Kimoki. You want pets right now? I'm in the heat of battle, baby. We're trying to escape prison. My goodness. Loki's invested. Alvin. Oh my gosh, he wants pets right meow. Yeah, he's screwed. Poor guy. Alvin? Are, are you okay? That's a no. Alright, let's see. Right outside the box to turn and flip on the outdoor speakers and then play music. Switch on external speakers. Okay, now the mic. That's it, right? I'm making sure I'm not missing any steps. What? What's wrong? Is it unplugged? Yeah, I think that's it. Now we run. No, 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 no. No, where are they? Oh, God. What if it's like a... Come not on, music. Come on. Please work. This 4th of July, make sure your backyard barbecue is complete with House full line of products to meet your grilling needs. Alvin? Alvin? Wh Cut on his wrong? tongue. Carver talks all the tough oh, guy shit, then keeps the tiniest gun in the universe. There's <laughs> something funny about that. Mm. You have the project, we have the know how. How? Come on! 
We have to go. I ain't going anywhere. But you are. Go on. I mean to get some payback. No. We're no. leaving. We're all leaving. Aww. I ain't fit to move, kid. I've, Man. I've run out of road. This guy was nice. I didn't have a problem with him. No, I'll, I'll just go up there and shut that thing off. You gotta get out of here. They'll be here any second. Man, thank you. You take care of my girls. I get the feeling it's, it's gonna be a girl. Just a hunch. Go on. <laughs> Jesus. From charcoal briquettes to propane tanks, House has all you need to make your day special. Was he the only one they sent up there to do the music? Okay, run, 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 run. This week only, Kennedy leaf blowers are twenty-two percent off. Holy How heck. Let's you want to disrespect me? Fine. You want to throw away the life I'm trying to build for us all? Then fucking fine. You want to run off with this dog shit group of crippled fucks? Then fine. Be my guest. But I will put a bullet in you and that bait. Get back! Shoot him. Shoot him. Let's go. Come on, Luke. This ain't none of your business. Shoot him. Clem, where... Why isn't Alvin with you? Where is he? He died protecting us. Alvin! Rebecca, I am... Oh God, I am so sorry. Kill him. Rebecca, Rebecca, sweetie, my God. How did we get here, you and me? This is just a bit of a custody battle we got on our hands here. Shoot him. Just shoot him. What? No, I just... Perfect. Go on and wait outside. <laughs> I mean, I wonder what anyone, what everyone else did here. What other playthroughs looked on. like. Daddy, please. Did people actually have sympathy for this guy? Did anyone ever like try to? I mean, keeping I him alive. A... I only need a minute. Holy shit! Like I could see keeping him alive just to have him eaten by walkers. Like that's a feasible option. Go on. You don't need to see this. That girl's already seen more than you can imagine. Shut your mouth, Bill. Mm. You're all just gonna let him do this? Yes. There ain't one part of that son of a bitch I don't hate, but that does not make this right. We don't have time for this. It's true. I'm making time. Huh. Look at you, you fucking ingrates. I don't even know how good you got it. That's all right. You'll learn. Asshole. Lambs to the slaughter. No shepherd to guide you. Clementine knows exactly what I'm talking about. Come on. Come on, Clem. Oh, come on, Clementine. Don't be like that. Don't run away. You know you want to see the show. Who do you think you're fooling, huh? I know you. I know who you are. Let's go. Yeah, Jeez. go on. Let the sheep out of the pen. We'll see how long that lasts. I'll oh be right God. there. You won't see anything. That's funny, coming from you. Yeah, because he's blind now. How's that eye? Just follow my voice. It'll get you there. You got a thick fucking skull, Kenneth. Should have put you out of your misery right then. Now look at you. You're a mess. Not the Kenny I know in there. 
I wish I thought I could save him. What do you mean? How is it not the Kenny you I'm, know? I'm, I'm, I'm all right. Come on. We he literally got his eye like completely dismembered because he got skull damage because of that guy. His son died and his wife killed herself. What do you mean it's not the Kenny you know? Is he just a ray of sunshine? Is he always just a lump of joy? Like got enough to worry about. No offense, but oh, man, we're never gonna make it through this. You kidding me? If Clem can handle it, you can. True. Shit. I thought they were coming from the south. They did. Looks like we're in the eye of it now. Mm, man. This is fucked. Here. I'm gonna need something. Thanks. Here we go. Blood and guts, boys. Oh, Sarah. You guys better hurry up and get to smearing if you want to live. Or you can die here. It doesn't matter to me. Oh, oh my god. Clem is such a badass, dude. Holy shit. I'll go first. You're gonna put that on yourself? Yes! That is what we, we said. We have to, Sarah. Okay, now you. I'm not around. doing that. It smells gross. Oh, she's doing it? Shit. Everybody should be okay, the fuck honey. Up and get Just covered. stay. Wow, still. she's actually doing uh, it. Are you sure? I'm sure. There's nothing to fear if you remain calm. Wow. Chat, she's doing it. Hurry the fuck up. Turn around. I'll get your back. Hmm. I also thought she would chicken out and be like, I can't. We got all day here. Everybody ready? That's some and growth right there. What in the actual fuck is going on here? Oh my god, what this, this guy. Sick shit. Someone say something before I start. Hey, 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 hey. Don't you even fucking think about it, motherfucker. I will end you. You hear me? Yeah, you're the highest in command. Troy, Troy we talked about this. What? the fuck you talking about i told you i wanted to get out you said you'd help then i'd help i thought you meant get out of the pen not whatever the fuck this shit is i did but now we can leave troy you can come with us what well where would we go away from here together I'm just gonna Man, shoot him in really bad you gotta get a bath before we. Yep. <laughs> You're shoving dick up. Yep. Come on. Yes. Yep. Don't make any noise. Got it? Let's go. Hear something they don't like. And for fuck's sake, walk. Act like you belong, and you will belong. <laughs> get over here. Let's go. I need more ammo. We got this, y'all. Is that Tavian? Where's Bill? We need him up here. Jesus. Stay calm. Oh no, is Sarah gonna get shot? Gonna be okay. Don't or the dad. One of them's gonna get shot. They're right in front of me. They wouldn't put them right in front of me if they weren't gonna get shot. Clementine, come help me. Calm her down. Please, just say something. You're her friend. Clementine. Thank God she actually ran. Come on. Bro, I was trying to click. It was not registering. I swear, y'all. I'm trying to click. It wouldn't be an Aurelia episode if I didn't die, okay? There she goes. 
Boom. Okay. Swipe. That was slow. There we go. I swear I was trying. Woo! I'm gonna have to kill her. She's a good enough distraction. Oh God. Ah! Oh my God! We learned that it might actually work. Ah! Holy. That voice acting. That scream. What? Is she actually gonna live? Sarah's glasses. She's gonna get someone killed. If I had said I had the radio, Carver might not have been as... as vicious to... Don't ever think that, darling. No telling what that asswipe would have done to you. Yeah. So how's it look? Am I still gonna be pretty when this heals? Ah. Uh... You need to get past that walker without drawing all the others. What are you gonna do? Not now. Not now, Daryl. She's getting hurt right now? Oh my god. They're all gonna die, Clementine. Don't let them pull you down with them. What? What the heck? Okay, okay. Helped Sarah with her chores. 52% of players helped Sarah. Told Bonnie about Luke. You and 41% of players told Bonnie that Luke contacted you. Admitted to stealing the walkie-talkie. You and 67% of the players tried to hide the theft. Watched Kenny kill Carver. 55% of the players left with Sarita. I don't really, I didn't really want to see all that. You know, I've seen enough. Chopped off Sarita's arm. 57% of players did. I typically wouldn't believe in that, but the guy said that he did it and it worked. I don't, I still am not buying it, but if there's a chance, it's better to try that than to just kill her, I guess. I don't know, man. Holy heck. All of these decisions were so pretty much 50-50. They were so close, so split. And that just is a testament to how difficult it is to make decisions in this game. And how so many people were just torn between which side they wanted to be on. So I am totally with these people that made the other decisions opposite of me um, this playthrough. But yeah, either way, thank you all for watching. As always, I'm going to I'm just going to roll right into the next episode. But for those that are watching right currently, I'll see you guys next week. And then for those who are watching this sometime in the future and are just going to go into the next episode with me, I will see you soon. See ya!